Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in the court of Judge Middleton as he takes on a Karen who makes all sorts of excuses as to why she ended up missing several court dates and everything like that. And all her excuses are as pathetic as they can be. Now, shout out to the real legal channel. The link will be in the description, so go ahead and give them a like, comment, share, and subscribe, and share some love with this up-and-coming channel. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I'm Judge Middleton. I'm here at the courthouse. Uh, I'm your attorney. Curious why I'm here uh, today. <laughs> what's that? I'm kind of curious why I'm here today. I was pretty sure I served my sentence out. Yeah, spoiler alert, uh, just to be on the lookout for this. Uh, yeah, she ducked out on the sentencing hearing of her original uh, trial, so she was never sentenced to begin with. And, well, she'll come up with all sorts of uh, really pathetic excuses as to why she uh, never made it to the uh, hearing. So, yeah, it's understandable why this Karen... Well, is in the screwed up position that she is in now. It's all her own damn making. Um, you never showed in up for the sentence. I was pretty sure I was I was released to and I served my entire sentence for the entire for the entire in twenty twenty two. Yeah, yeah, that's not exactly how that works. You've got to be at your sentencing hearing to hear your sentencing and all that other good stuff. I mean, that way they can make sure it's all kosher. Uh, so, yeah, I don't think it's going to work out for you. That might have been in front of Judge Stutzman. But nope, in this it case, it was file 212545. <clears throat> You, you were the judge in, in, in the case. All right. Well, in this case, you're charged with illegal entry. Here, correct? Yes. And the matter was set for sentencing. I, I thought I'd already served my sentence. On August 31st. I thought that's when I got out. Uh. 2022. I was here for like 60 days. Let's go through the history of this. Ms. Casey Strong, Ms. Casey Strong is here with us from the public defender staff. And she, uh, I asked her to come in. All right, let's go back. On Gen December 21st, you allegedly illegally entered a. Um, so in 2022, I was picked up and served right. the rest of the Just wait, just wait. Time. I'm going through this. Okay. <laughs> um, and uh, you got arrested and posted a bond in January of 2022. Yep. Uh, attorney Timothy George was appointed to represent you, but he had a conflict, and the attorney then became Rhonda Ives. Uh-huh. Uh, on July 13th of 2022, uh, you got arrested for failing to appear and you pled not guilty again. So I set the matter for an attorney pretrial for August 5th. Of 2022, you pled guilty to the charge on August 5th. So you trespassed on the house that Jameson Norman owned and allegedly trashed the place. Uh, you were in jail for 25 days. Um, I gave you a PR bond and set the matter for sentencing for September 12th, um, which you promptly never appeared again whatsoever. So your bluster this morning is wasted. You were in jail for 25 days. You entered a plea. I let you out of jail and you never showed up for the sentence. You never got sentenced. 
I never got a, I never got what? any any notice to appear. I told I, you I in the courtroom. When uh, I, when I, I may have even I given you something. A, I told a, you the matter was set for sentencing on September 12th of 2022. I asked for victim input and a police report. Uh, Miss Norman was watching this house for her grandmother and contended that you or others trashed the place. So I set the matter for sentencing. I let you out of jail and you paid me back by never showing up again. Um, I don't remember ever getting a notice to appear after I told when I was you late. in the courtroom what the day was but to I be here. Have a physical, I physically did not have a sheet that said I needed to return to the court. Well, we sent it, which is the address that you gave me in the courtroom. Well, uh, and that was that, mailed to that address that on address August 31st. No longer, I cannot receive mail there. Well, that's your problem as to why you're not uh, getting any of these court documents because you're giving them uh, bad addresses, you moron. You know, that kind of reminds me of a uh, uh, certain sovereign citizens that I've seen who pull that and uh, complain as to why they don't get anything. At any rate, it's still coming down on your head. It's still your responsibility and everything like that to make sure that you have a proper address that you can receive this crap at, you moron. The house has been uh, So on, on that day, your lawyer tried to call you several times, had had no contact with you since you got out of jail. And the complainant was present, ready to give information about your case. Well, the complainant was in the parking lot when I left the left the court, left the the jail that day, and threatened my life. All right, Norma well, is her name. No, no, no. Her name is the James. The, the woman, the one, the woman uh, that was watching the residents was in the parking lot that day when I left and threatened my life. Okay. Um, so anyway, you call never called your lawyer. Also. Your lawyer was unable to reach you, and you never showed up. So how did you get arrested last night? I didn't get arrested last night. I was arrested on Sunday. Where is that? So Sunday would have been February 10th. Super Bowl Sunday. How did you come to get arrested? On my property. Did they arrest you for something else or did they just find there was a yes. warrant? They arrested me for something else. This popped up and when I found was, was going to be let out. All right. What was the charge in Kalamazoo? Uh, a false charge of uh, controlled substance. Uh, dangerous drugs and i'm supposedly on the fbi list who knows why but well i think the picture is becoming more and more clear as to why you're on the fbi watch list maybe because you are kind of a career criminal or something like that i mean what we're hearing here in the court may be just the tip of the iceberg as far as your criminal history goes which may be part of the reason why you don't want to give out a proper address so the FBI can track you down. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. All right. So, uh, is that, and then they were going to bond you out and they found this warrant in St. Joe County. Yep. yep. This And I, yeah, I need to get out of here as fast as possible because I'm trying to get my taxes paid on my house so I can start renovations okay before the first of march definitely all right very good i'll set this matter for sentence and hopefully we can get miss ives here the first day i have is february 21st and I have court in Kalamazoo on the 21st. Do I have to stay in jail till um, this matter goes to court? I would think that since it's a misdemeanor, I wouldn't have to stay in jail. You're mistaken. 
I'm not very happy with you. You blew off your sentencing date. You never called your lawyer. The complainant came twice. Uh, you're trying to bluster me to tell me that you already got sentenced and did a bunch of jail time. I, I did I you did a favor by letting you out of jail, and you promptly responded by. I thought I did. Back. My mistake. Okay. I just want to get the matter resolved, and I don't want to miss being able to get my property uh, taken care of before March, and I don't want to miss my other court dates in Kalamazoo. Fair enough. Trying to keep a better schedule. I only can do that if, you know, we can work together. Because this is only a misdemeanor. Not that that makes it any less important. There we go. Your lawyer is set to be here next Tuesday. Um, to be here February till Tuesday? 20. Yes. Really? They also need to give notice to the complaining witness. So um, I can't get any, I can't, because now I have a, a, a way to get here. Before I didn't have yeah. a way to get here. Yes. I, I just I don't understand why I couldn't be released if I do have a way to get here. I know I have a way to get here before I did not. Well, you do now because you have no bond. I'm going to deal with you on Tuesday and I'm going to decide at that time whether to let you out on Tuesday or give you the balance of 93 days in jail. So you might want to work on your attitude a little bit. <laughs> So, sorry, Judge Middleton, but uh, I have to disagree with you on this. I think it's far too late for her to work on her attitude problem because she's already so far deep in the rabbit hole. There is no escape from that attitude. I'll have your lawyer, Rhonda Ives, here at that time. I'll have the complainant here. Um, I'm going out of my way to set this as soon as I can on a date that your attorney is already scheduled to be here. Just because you're strenuous in your statement doesn't mean it's correct. The bottom line is I let you out of jail. You blew me off. You never showed up. You never called your lawyer. Your lawyer couldn't call you. I told you the date in the courtroom. I mailed the notice to the address that you gave me. You've been AWOL for two and a half I years. So I we'll deal with this you? on Tuesday. No, this is it. I'll see you Tuesday at nine o'clock. Sorry, Karen. You had your chance. The judge gave you a chance, everybody gave you a chance, and you kept on blowing every chance you got. So there's only so many chances you get before people say to hell with you, and you get what you get out of it. And that's what you got. You're getting nothing in return anymore. So out in here, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?